From ferocious killers to misunderstood creatures, there's more to wolves than meets the eye. Here are nine incredible stories about wolves that you won't believe. Number nine, Coutard and the Wolves of Paris. Imagine walking through the streets of 15th century Paris on a freezing winter's night. You're looking forward to having a steaming hot bowl of French onion soup when suddenly you hear a growl. To your terror, you realize that you're being surrounded by a pack of ravenous wolves. This is apparently a true story, and while the details are imperfect, it's still enough to send shivers down your spine. Led by a wolf named Coutard, they accessed the city through gaps in the outer walls which were a couple of centuries old by that point and in bad condition. What does Coutard mean? Well, it actually translates as cheeky, but Coutard and his pack of furry friends were a bit more than that. They tore their way through no less than 40 unlucky Parisians. What were they doing there? The winter that year was so terrible the city was the only place they could find a hot meal. It all ended badly for Coutard and his fellow wolves. The citizens of Paris fought back, hemming them in by the Notre Dame Cathedral and brutally killing them with spears and stones. A hairy encounter to say the least. Have you ever seen a wild wolf in your neighbourhood? What did you do about it? Let me know in the comments below, and if you haven't already, remember to subscribe. Number 8. Complex Creatures It's easy to think of wolves as man-eaters who hunt in packs. Of course, they are naturally dangerous predators, but there are other aspects to them that you probably didn't know. In 2014, the BBC reported on a senior research scientist, Dr David Mesh, who works with the US Geological Survey. He's the go-to guy for all things wolf-related, and he had some interesting stories to tell. For example, wolves overall very rarely attack people. They'll usually fight something that they have a good chance of overpowering, not to take a wild risk against something bigger than them. Dr. Metch studied wolves in the Arctic and realized that the image of the alpha wolf biting and clawing his way to the top isn't too accurate. Wolves are now thought to start their own packs, similar to how humans start a family. They're also quite intelligent animals by his reckoning, who do a lot of planning and thinking ahead. This scientist has been watching wolves for 50 odd years, so he knows what he's talking about. Of course he's seen them do some vicious things too, so don't forget that they are wild animals. Number 7. Ethiopian Wolf This special tiny creature is so beautiful. It wears a beautiful coat tinged with red, and its long, elegant skull is absolutely magnificent. For such a handsome creature, the Ethiopian wolf story is a sad one. Also known as Canis simenis, or Simeon Fox, its habitat is the highlands of Ethiopia. We've known about them since the early 19th century, and they've been declared an endangered species since the 1930s due to the population being so small. In fact, the Ethiopian wolf is the rarest canine-like species on the planet. There are connections to grey wolves and coyotes, but this particular wolf is of its own distinct species. They have a very particular diet of small rodents, such as rats, though if they come across a baby antelope every now and then, by all accounts they would feast on that as well. The Ethiopian wolves are so few and far between, there are worries they'll go extinct. Sources like the Born Free Foundation believe there could only be a few hundred out there, making them seriously endangered. Thankfully, they seem to know how to watch out for each other, moving in packs that can contain 18 adults. They need to watch their backs, and we need to help them, because once they're gone, they're gone forever. Number 6. Grey Wolf Now, you might be watching this and thinking, I know grey wolves exist. Of course you do, but there are still some facts about this particular animal that will blow you away and make you wonder just what is going on with them. For example, did you know that they're born blind and deaf? Incredible, right? It takes approximately 10 months to raise a grey wolf pup. When sitting down to dinner, a grey wolf is the ultimate example of all you can eat. A grey wolf literally wolfs down 20 pounds or 8 kilograms of food in one meal. That's double the weight of a big bag of flour and around a quarter of their own body mass. The grey wolves at Yellowstone National Park disappeared off the map in the 1920s after humans killed them all. Wolves have a bad reputation with mankind and we are typically wary of them. In the 1990s, the grey wolf was reintroduced to the park and so far their population numbers are increasing handsomely. For naturalists and conservationists, this is wonderful news. Number 5. New Guinea Singing Dog It's believed that the dogs we see today were at some point wolves running around in the wilderness. The New Guinea Singing Dog isn't a wolf, but it appears to be descended from one. Plus, it's a singing dog, so come on, what's not to like? Known as Canis holstromi, it lives in the rainforest and you'll definitely hear it before you see it. The singing dogs are pretty elusive, so it's lucky that they make such a noise, otherwise we might never know they exist. Described as looking impish in appearance, they have a thick coat which ranges from red to black to tan. If you are lucky enough to see one, it might jump through the air. Bizarrely, this canine has cat-like reflexes. They are very mysterious and we don't know a whole lot about them. 
New Guinea singing dogs have been referred to as feral dogs and even dingoes. One thing that researchers do know is that these dogs are living fossils who have been on this planet for thousands of years. However, the most iconic talent of these remarkable animals is obviously their singing voice. The dogs like to make it a group activity, a canine choir of sorts. There's far more nuance involved than just random howling though. In boy band style, the animals contribute their own individual styles to the mix. The results won't be making any top 40 radio hit list, but it still makes for a fascinating listen. What do you think? Would you want to have one of these as a pet? Let me know in the comments below, and if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe while you're there. Number 4. Red Wolf Red Wolves have been roaming around our natural world for centuries. Also known as Canis Lupus Rufus, they have very beautiful fur which is partly coloured cinnamon. That said, these animals aren't exactly sweet, especially if you're a raccoon. Red Wolves have been known to eat a few when they get hungry. Smaller than grey wolves, the males are larger than the females. The biggest ones are about 63 inches long, or 1.6 meters, with a weight of up to 85 pounds, that's 38 kilograms. And good luck running from one as they hit speeds of up to 30 miles per hour. The remote rural areas of Texas and Louisiana are the best places to try and spot one, out among the swamps and mountains. Red wolves feature prominently in Cherokee mythology, and if we're not careful, they will be consigned to the history books. Labelled as critically endangered since the 1990s, there are a mere 40 of these animals in existence, possibly less. Crazy, huh? The raccoons will be happy, but the planet will be poorer for not having these impressive creatures living wild and free. Number 3. Romeo the Wolf There are some stories involving wolves that are so strange I didn't believe them at first, and this is one of them. But this isn't a story of savagery. Actually, it's quite the opposite. This is a love story, and the star is a handsome devil named Romeo the Wolf. This was a black wolf who appeared in the community of Juneau, Alaska in 2003. The people there were surprised to discover that instead of trying to eat them, this unexpected visitor wanted to be pals. Things heated up when photographer Nick Yans arrived in town, or to be more precise, his golden Labrador Dakota. The wolf formed quite an attachment to Dakota, in fact, he had an eye for many of the lady dogs in the neighbourhood by all accounts. It was Nick's wife, Mrs Yans, who came up with the name. She felt protective over the bonds between this wolf and her dog Dakota, and one day she decided to call him Romeo. Nick and his family developed a bond with Romeo, who dropped by regularly over the years. Sadly, others didn't see him in the same way. Around 2010 he was shot. While the culprits were found and punished, there was no replacing this charismatic canine. Nick was devastated and even wrote a book about his experiences. A memorial service was held and a plaque unveiled in Romeo's honour. What do you think? Would you ever adopt a wolf like Romeo? Let me know by writing a comment below. Number 2. Verkoyansk Wolf Attacks What is the biggest pack of wolves ever seen? That honour was taken by a 400 strong group of wolves over in Russia. The town of Verkoyansk in the region of Yakutia is one of the coldest places on earth. Deep in the northeast of the country, this community found itself invaded by furry visitors, but they weren't looking to be friends. The deep frozen conditions of a remarkable 40 degrees or more below zero meant the wolves didn't have access to their usual food supply. To their horror, the residents realised that they were dealing with a serious threat from Mother Nature. The 400 wolves were eating their way through the town's horse population. A reported 30 met their end as the ravenous pack preyed on the populace. The people decided they had to act fast. Once the horses ran out, they would no doubt be on the menu themselves. Adding to the terrifying nature of this tale was Verkoyansk's place in history. It's also known as Stalin's Death Ring. Why? Because the former leader of the Soviet Union used to send his enemies there to live out their days in frozen misery. No less than 24 teams of hunters were assembled to tackle the eye-popping invasion of the wolves. The bloody end result made it into the Guinness Book of Records, though it must not have been fun for the villagers whilst it was going on. Some outsiders are sceptical, due to a wolf pack usually being 15 strong at the most, never mind into the hundreds. That being said, the natural world does have a way of surprising us. But this isn't even the most remarkable story of wolves out of the former Soviet Union. There's one more even wilder fact and it comes from a spooky deserted place. Number 1. Wolves of Chernobyl The Chernobyl disaster is still etched into the minds of those who experienced it. The shocking nature of the nuclear meltdown means it will never fully escape the public eye. But there is a side to Chernobyl that you might not be aware of. The wildlife. Yes, despite there being dangerous levels of radiation, even decades after the earth-shattering event, life has found a way. And that means wolves. Just because animals are thriving out there in sight of the infamous power station, it doesn't mean that there's not a problem. 2018 saw media reports that grey wolves were fanning out from Chernobyl and into surrounding areas. This is apparently bad news, owing to the mutated genes they've carried inside them over the years. Mutant radioactive wolves? Now that's scary. 
The grey wolves have been so successful at becoming the dominant species of the area, they understandably want to expand into new territories. Experts were brave enough to put GPS collars onto some of the wolves, and what they discovered was incredible. While the adult wolves kept to their zone, their pups had other ideas. One young wolf travelled nearly 200 miles. In a strange twist, the GPS tracker stopped working so scientists don't even know for sure if he returned to Chernobyl. Scary. Thanks for watching. Are there any unbelievable stories of wolves you'd like to share? Which wolf is your favourite? Let us know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe and we'll see you in the next video.